Okay, I'm going to be showing how to use the file transfer task in this video. And um, so the scenario is that I'm going to be downloading files from a remote server. And it's a special type of server called an SFTP server. It, uh, it is secure, so it provides secure FTP. And in my case, it's actually software running on my computer that acts like a remote server. Um, for our customers, of course, it would actually be a remote server and it'd be an SFTP server. At least that's what I'm depicting in this video. So um, I'm going to download, I'm going to get a list of the files in a specific folder on the remote server and I'm going to then download the files into a local folder on my local computer. So I've already set up connection managers. So the SSH connection manager, that's um, that uses a protocol called uh, Secure Shell or SSH, and uh, here it, you have to get a key and everything. And of course, I'm not going to show you how to do that. But you know, there's uh, secure stuff for logging into that server. And then there's also um, just a file connection manager here. And it's just pointing to a folder on my local computer where I want to download the files to. And then I have three variables set up here. So first I'm gonna load the list of all the files in the remote folder on the SFTP server. I'm gonna load those into an object type variable so it'll have a, just all the names of each of the files there. And then I'm going to loop through um, a loop and uh, processing the files one at a time. And I just put a random name in here right now for this file name variable. This file doesn't actually exist. And then I use this file name variable within another variable in what we call an expression to actually specify the full path. So it specifies the name of the folder on the remote server as well as the file name. And so that's what this does over here. It's an expression, has the file path and then the file name. And then I evaluate the expression and that's what it will look like, except it'll have a valid name in here um, from the list on the remote server. So I'm going to start by dragging the file transfer task onto the canvas. And this time I'm going, to, I'm going to use it to get a list of remote files to download. So I'll double click to open it. And I'm going to select the action which there's, I think, seven actions here. I scroll down and it's called Get Remote Files List. And then it's going to put that list into the files list variable. And I only need to specify remote parameters here. And so I'm going to specify the SSH connection manager. So that's how we access that remote server. And then I'm going to point at the folder where the files reside that I want to download, which I'm getting the list of here. And we don't have any subfolders, so I can leave this set to false. Then we need to use a for each loop container because we're going to loop through each of the file names in that list variable. So here I'm going to process each file from the list. And I need to configure this. So it has to enumerate based on something. And that something is called an a for each ADO enumerator, which is the um, that variable with the list of file names in it, which is files list. And then 
each time through the loop, it's going to put one file name into this variable, the file name variable. So again, that will only contain a name of the file. It won't include the full file path of where the file is on the remote server. Now I'm going to use the Cozy Rock file transfer task again and put it inside the loop. And here it's going to be used to download one file. So I'm going to open that up and I'm going to expand the options here. So we'll start with the action, and the action is receive files. So that's basically what you choose to download files from a remote server to a local server. And this is where I use the uh, connection manager, the file connection manager that I already showed you called receive Excel files. It just points at the folder on the local computer. And here is where I'm specifying remote parameters. And I'm going to use that SSH connection manager again. And uh, the remote variable is going to be, well, the remote, the specification of the path is going to be a variable or in a variable. So I set that to true. And now I need to point it at the variable that has the full path name. So that's called file path. And I don't need to include subfolders and I'm not going to do any filtering to keep it simple. So now I'm just going to save the package and I will execute it. And it was successful. So I'll stop debugging. And then I'll show you, here's the files that I wanted to download, the six files. And here's where I downloaded them too. So you can see all six of the files have been downloaded from the remote server. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.